today I'm going to change your life and show you how to revive a dead marker. Have you ever wondered how to do this? I have. And actually it's pretty simple. I saw this on TikTok and I was like, oh, it's that easy. So there's a few reasons why and I'm going to go through and show you some of the different ways you can uh, revive markers, whether they're alcohol based or they're water based. I'm Jenny from Jenny's Crayon Collection. I hope you guys find the coolest art supplies for whatever project you're doing. And today I'm going to help you save money because then you won't have to buy new markers. There's two reasons a marker will dry out. The first one, it's basically out of ink. There's nothing you can do at this point. You have to buy a new marker. The second reason is because the nib. What is the nib? The nib is the part of the marker that actually writes. And every marker nib's a little bit different. Copics you can take out, Crayola markers you can take out. I haven't tried to take out a Sharpie one yet, but these nibs can go dry. And if these nibs go dry and the inner core part of the marker is not out yet, guess what? You can revive your marker and that's what i'm going to focus on today is showing you how to revive that dead marker when there's still ink inside but it's not coming out and you won't have to throw these markers away it'll be great for you for the environment you'll save money and also i want to know if the marker is really dry you can always recycle it crayola has a program where they will recycle their markers and other places might too so i would definitely check those out I'm gonna show you big Crayola markers, regular Crayola markers, and Sharpie markers today. Sharpie will have a different way of reviving, but this principle is the same. You're basically gonna pour a liquid on the nib so the nib gets reactivated. It's that simple. Then you store it upside down for a while because it takes time. It's not gonna happen all at once. The, the ink is gonna go back into the nib. It takes a minute. So you're just gonna wait, be patient, and then you'll have your markers ready to use again. If the marker does not work after this point, then you probably have run out of ink and then you can throw that marker away. But you can at least try this process first and you can use your markers again. The basic principle that is being used here is called capillary action. It's a physics principle. Basically, it's that water will go up. If there's something like a sponge, it'll go up. I have some markers here that need a little TLC and we're gonna go through and talk about how to revive these markers. Okay, the first ones we're gonna try, I have some, this is just some Crayola paper right here. And we're gonna see if this one works, okay? So it works okay. You can see it's a little funky. Let's look at this one. That one hardly works. Okay, so we're gonna try these two. The, these are water-based Crayola markers first. They're huge, but it'll show the principle of the thing. So I have just a cup of water right here. Yeah, all you're gonna do is you're gonna come over here and you're gonna pour the water on them. Let's get the lids out of the way. See how like the tip is like, it's like, whoa, what are you doing? All the ink is coming out from the tip, but that's fine. You just wanna get that tip wet. Okay, we have a ton of water here. So shake this tip a little bit. We're just like trying to get that ink to come back into the marker. Let's see how this works. So we can already see that improved that one. This will improve a lot over the next few days. And it was as simple as that as pouring water on the marker. Let's try this other one. See where we are at. This is the original right there. You can see that it's a lot lighter probably because some of that, the ink came out, but you can see how much consistent it is than it was before. We're getting a definite line. It's not as dark, but give it a couple days or give it overnight and we'll see what it looks like. It already looks, I think it looks better than it did. You can store these like upside down, especially these ones because they can stand up. So it will, the ink will come down and now we've created a way for the ink to come to the tip. Whereas before the ink was not coming to the tip because it was all dry. I have all these markers and they're all somewhat dead. There's a few reasons a marker can die. Let's go through one of the reasons. This is super obvious because there's actually ink in this marker. It shows you when the ink is gone. So this one will not write, right? 
and we see that there's no ink in there. So when you're trying to revive a marker, you just have to remember that sometimes th these ones don't come out. Uh, sometimes the ink, there's no ink in the actual marker and that's why your marker won't revive. So if you try to revive a marker and it doesn't work, it's probably because there's no ink left in the marker. Okay, this is what a Crayola marker nib looks like. And this one is like super dry. It's almost like a crayon because it's so dry. And if you can see in there, every Crayola marker has a nib and then it also has this and this pushes it. In. This foam is what has all the ink for a Crayola marker. That's how a Crayola marker is made. So if we're looking down into the barrel right there, this is what we're seeing right here. We're gonna take our little plate that we did the green one on. We're just gonna pour like a tad bit of water in there. You don't want too much because you don't want to dilute the color. Okay, so we're gonna see if we can get this marker to work again. So this nib is gray. And what we also wanna do is we want to, basically what we're trying to do is we're trying to promote capillary action in this marker to revive it. So we want to get it wet so that way now we're losing some of the ink you'll see because it is wet but that will help get if there is any ink left in here that will help revive it so what you can do is pull out your marker nib and then look at it so we're going to take this over here now and test it out this was before so look we actually got that marker working again we just have to promote that capillary action. So I actually don't have a lid for this one. I'm just gonna put a random lid on here. And then I'm gonna put it upside down for a day because if there is ink left, now we've provided this way for the capillary action to go back down into the marker and the marker will wor work again. Let's try one more. This one, we already tried, right? No, we didn't. Okay, so that one doesn't work very well. And you can do this, I'm not gonna show you all the markers I would do this to. Did I already take, I don't think I already took this one out. You could just do this with your hands too. This one doesn't wanna come out. Uh, there we go. So we got our little core. What we're gonna do is the same thing that we did over here. Take the core out, pour a little bit of water in. Just a little bit, because you don't wanna dilute the color. That was probably too much. You can get some of it out. And then this thing, just get it wet. And then it's a messy activity. This is a very, very messy activity. <laughs> Look at all that ink that was on there. So this one we'll try again. And this was the original. So that even looks like a different color than it did before and it works again. So I'm gonna leave this one again. My hands are all green now because I poured that water. Okay, so again, I'm gonna store this overnight, put it down like this. If it works again, it will work again. If not, then you throw it away. So, but this can save you a ton of time and money, but you don't throw away things unnecessarily. So now we're gonna get to the Sharpies. Sharpies are a little bit different. Okay, this one does not work right here. So like I said, there could be two reasons it doesn't work. One of the reasons could be that there's no ink in it or that it just, the nib gets dry. When the nib gets dry, it doesn't work. So what we're gonna do over here, these are alcohol-based. We don't wanna pour water on them. It probably would work, but I, I just pour uh, rubbing alcohol on it. So we're gonna just take this thing and just drench it. And see, there's some stuff coming out. And then we're gonna try it again over here. And look, automatically looks better because we're reactivating that tip again. This is another Sharpie that I have. Sometimes it, actually I revived that one a while ago and it's working just fine now. So that's good. It works and it, like I said, it'll work better overnight too. Oh yeah, that one, that one's looking a little suspect. You can come over here just a little bit on your Sharpie. Well, actually, it doesn't matter. You can do a lot. 
And then just shake it a little bit like this. And then you come over here and it already looks better. So like I said, just keep these overnight like this. You can try this method with all your markers. We'll go back to the green ones and such that we did at the beginning. See, because they were a little bit bigger. We've gonna give them some time. So now you can see like before the tip was light green, but now it's darker green. So we're already getting an improvement. This was the original when we first tried to revive it and this was later. And then this is the side of the marker and we're already seeing a darker color coming from there. So you, some of the key things is to, like you just wanna reactivate that nib, and then the second thing is patience while it reactivates, because it's not gonna happen all at once. It, it takes a, a minute to happen. I do have an individual video on this, but I'll show you this so you guys can see uh, exactly what goes on when a marker is made. So we're gonna create just a random color here. Okay, I just have to remember how to do this. This is, oh, this is making a mess. Crazy mess. So I think I remember how to do this. This is not the exact way to do this because I think I'm missing pieces. That's what happens when my kids get it. So I want to make this one. So we go nine and then nine red and six blue. So this is like, this is like the marker ink that comes in a marker. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, actually we go up to the six line. Not six drops. Otherwise our marker would not be good. Okay. And then on this one, we go up to, we just go up to 15, which is nine. You can stir this a little bit, which I don't have anything to stir with, so I'll just shake it a little bit. And then what you do with this, I'm gonna show you this on the side here. You stick this in here, and it's capillary action. So you'll see eventually all this ink getting So you, can you see how it's starting to go up? That ink. You'll see it. Okay, there we go. It's really good right there. So you keep this in here until the, all the ink is done. Oh, I actually think you put this in the orange thing, but whatever. It takes a while. But this is why it takes a while to revive the marker because you, the fluid is gonna be moving again. So this is just called capillary action where uh, the marker liquid is moving again. So if you get that tip wet, all of a sudden now there's a way for all that fluid to move. Whereas before it was harder, there was nothing. It was like you're putting a rock in a river and the river's not gonna flow. So you're removing that rock by getting that wet again. So I'm just gonna leave this in here for a minute because there's still stuff in there, but it looks pretty good. We'll put this marker together, but I wanted to really show you guys that capillary action and we'll show you that capillary action on the tip because it will be really good to see that. And then we're gonna look at the red marker again because the red marker was the one that we did at the first. You can see it still looks a little bit uh, there's a little bit of like light red right there, but we'll see if it went to the tip. And you can see already that improvement over that, which was nothing. So don't throw a marker away just because, and then you still have some felt stuff, so you can take some of this felt stuff off. Yeah, but don't throw a marker away because it doesn't work. <laughs> it might work again. This was the green one we tried. It is, so you can see now, I'm trying to color a little bit more. This could be an issue where the marker is just maybe out of ink. And if it's out of ink, then it probably won't work eventually. So just keep that in mind when you're trying to revive markers. Sometimes they'll work, sometimes they won't. Just depends on the amount of ink that's in the actual marker. But these big ones have a lot of ink and they just, the tip got dried out. We're gonna go back to this. 
Let's see. Now, I don't think I'm supposed to touch it like this. I have tweezers, but I don't know where they are. First, you have to put in the marker. This is the marker nib. So this is what we're taking out when we're taking it out. So then we're gonna push this up. You push this up so it touches. So look, it, we already are getting that ink flowing through. So that's all you're trying to do is reactivate that because this was dry. It had dried out and now we're just trying to reactivate that, trying to get a bridge back into the marker. And this takes about five minutes to do. That's why it's good to get the whole nib wet because then you're promoting everything. It's not just this that you're getting wet, you're getting this whole thing. And our marker, it works. This was what it looked like before guys. And now we have a working marker. So you can see it coming up right here. Like I said, a very, very slow process. I hope you guys enjoyed this video on how to revive a marker. Remember, it's just the nib that gets dry sometimes. Sometimes there's not enough ink in the marker barrel, but you'll know after you try to revive it. And it's all about, it's just simple physics of getting that, the capillary action down to the end of the marker. So now our marker that we have, that we were looking at before, has officially gone to the bottom, and now it works. Now we have a working marker, and that's what we're doing when we're reviving them. It's all the same process. And then what we do with this one, <sighs> there's supposed to be one more click, yeah, three clicks. Then we have a working marker. And of course, the best prevention to get a marker from drying out is to put the lid on after you're done with it. <laughs> I hope you guys like this video. Think about um, now YouTube has the super thanks. Uh, think about leaving a tip if you want on this and my other videos. Leave a like, a comment. Tell me what you liked best about this. Will you be trying this out? Do you have markers that don't work? Were you able to save any? Let me know in the comments below. I hope you guys have a great day and we'll see you in the next video.